which is pretty surprising, man. This kind of came out of the blue. I felt like, again, courtesy of RA, it says Paper, the legendary Paper magazine. The actual, most people know Paper primarily for that flipping um, Kim Kardashian break the internet cover from back in the day where she's got the champagne bottle and she's praying it and it's kind of spraying and hitting her bum from behind and shit. Um, unfortunately, it looks like they laid off the entire staff. And what's interesting, though, for a magazine, I feel like that's kind of world-renowned and doing bits and has done a great, you know, has, has kind of played its part in culture. They only had 20 to 30 full-time employees anyway. That's pretty sick. They was able to run such a, such a cool magazine on such a small team. And of course, other freelancers, I'm sure that did work. But the title here, courtesy of Resident Advisor, is Everyone is Still in Shock. Paper Magazine lays off entire staff. Um, first reported by Adweek on Wednesday, um, 27th of April, and confirmed by staff on social media, the entire editorial team of 20 to 30 members has been affected by the layoffs at paper. Publisher Tom Florio, who was the former Condé Nast Publishing Director of, of Vogue, everywhere Condé Nast people go, they just everything they touch just turns to stone in it these people have a, the opposite of a Midas touch uh, publishing for director for Vogue Teen Vogue Bon Appetit and Condé Nast Traveller acquired paper magazine under his company EN Tech Media Group in 2017 he reportedly cited last year's decrease in the advertising as a reason for the cuts Florida didn't immediately respond for comment it says here, as a quote, it was a surprise, but deep down I felt something was coming. Paper news editor Jade Gomez told Resident Advisor, and that's what actually does happen. If you're actually paying attention at uh, where you work at and you're just clocking in and clocking out, it's pretty easy to tell when companies are going to be going under. Some easy tells, especially if you work in startups. You start seeing less snacks. Those usually account for a change. You start to see less drinks or no drinks at all. You start to see less food at all hands meetings you start to see less company away days you start to see less staff <laughs> those are usually examples of like okay the the end is coming soon so you better get your affairs in order it continues here it says the news came during the company-wide meeting that morning and was effective immediately she explained happens a lot in media the quote says sadly rug gets ripped out from under you honestly everyone is still in shock so imagine going in for a company meeting on the monday thinking it's just a regular schmegular occasion and on that monday you get told hey there's no jobs you're out of here mate you're off go get something new jesus christos papers layoffs follow a flurry of media cuts and uh, cut downs across the industry including galdem npr and buzzfeed news gomez confirmed editor-in-chief justin moran will be staying on until the end of may to facilitate the remaining stories <clears throat> sorry but all other editorial operations will cease immediately the publisher will continue to look for alternatives cost-effective options to remain in business this they always say this i think it's just what you have to say but if they have to fire 20 to 30 people it's basically over there's no saving this and even if it did get saved who'd want to work there because it just died again anyway um, paper launched in 1984 and covered music um, arts and primarily focused on new york scene the publication rose to prominence with the internet culture in 2014 as most of you guys know with the break the internet cover so actually let's let's actually get that cover up on here just as a kind of last tribute to flipping paper magazine and everybody that worked there so again um rest in peace paper and everybody that did work there it looks like it's over now but as a tribute let's just highlight how amazing this flipping picture was this editorial was absolutely incredible this story everything around it was really really cool i feel like so big up paper you know you, you weren't here for a long time but you're definitely here for a good time and you create some interesting and cool moments as we can see here as we can see here so big up paper and everybody associated with it hope you all land on your feet i really hope you all land on your feet Moving on from that, we have another article regarding layoffs, actually, this time courtesy of New York Times. This one, I'm surprised it took so long, not going to lie, it, even though I'm a big fan. Um, and it's kind of sad to see how it kind of died a very slow death, a death definitely by a thousand cuts. This is courtesy of New York Times. It says Vice is says to be headed for bankruptcy soon. The company, which was once valued at 5.7 billion, has been struggling to find a buyer this year. 
And this is definitely an end of an era, man. Definitely a sea change is happening here. There's probably kids on TikTok now that have no idea what Vice is and have no idea what what Vice did in terms of its part it played in culture, in terms of reporting, in terms of just creating cool content, in terms of the careers it launched. Like, God, man. Um, it says here, yeah, courtesy of New York Times, Vice, the brash digital media disruptor that charmed giants, Disney um, and Fox into investing more um, before a stunning crash landing is preparing to file for bankruptcy, according to two people acknowledged of the operations. The filing could come in the coming weeks, according to the three people familiar with the matter who weren't authorized to discuss a potential bankruptcy on record. The company has been looking for a buyer and still might find one to avoid the current bankruptcy more than five companies have expressed interest in acquiring vice according to a person briefed on the discussions the chances of that however are growing increasingly slim said one of the people acknowledged um of the potential bankruptcy the bankruptcy filings why do they keep saying that at the end of it with knowledge with knowledge we know who it is anyway it continues the bankruptcy filing would be a bleak coda to the tumultuous um, story of vice a new media interrupter uh, interloper sorry that sought to supplement the media establishment before persuading it to invest hundreds of millions of dollars in 2017 after a funding round from the private equity firm tpg vice was worth 5.7 billion but today the most accounts is worth a tiny fraction of that Think of it also, Vice also, I think, were the creators of that kind of, oh no, they, they popularized the term gonzo journalism, right? Especially when you think about the documentaries they did on fucking North Korea. Those might have been the first pieces of legit content we got to see, video of like what it is to kind of live in North Korea day to day or what it kind of looks like overall. Like they did some amazing things, even just like, um, what's it called? Is it Munchies? The YouTube channel, right? And they got that one where they go and I forgot what the what the what the show is called, but they got a show on flipping Vice where they kind of go. Oh, yeah, that's what that's the one I liked. They got the show on Vice where they go to restaurants and they get the head chef or the owner to get their friends around and they go on a bar crawl to different restaurants, different, you know, bars and drink and shit, and they get absolutely wasted the entire time. It's a really cool little piece of content video that I used to always watch. I think I watched literally every episode of that. I can't even flip and remember the name of it. Let me see if I can grab it up here on my phone because it's bugging me. But it was a munchy show they had where they had people kind of doing things as they were walking around. What was it called? It was on Vice. It was like a street. It was like a thing that they did uh, with restaurant owners. It wasn't called that. I, can't, I actually can't find it on here, actually. Maybe they don't. Maybe they stopped doing it. Um not guy two i'm looking at it now it's not guy that's the one chef's night out yeah that's the one chef's night out that legitimately was one of my favorite ever 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 shows that they did man like chef's night out is fucking legendary so it's sad to see them go out that way and of course there i actually got one here i think maybe somewhere i can show you their magazines were amazing i've actually got a couple magazines here that i'm still holding on to some really amazing co covers actually right you got cover number one here that i've got of an old vice magazine and this is from the year 2013 actually fucking crazy isn't it that's still got all this shit holding on and i've also got one that features the legendary dash snow r.i.p to the goat r.i.p dash snow and this art uh, this one is from uh, probably about the same time as well uh what are you, what year is this from I'm looking on the inside. Yeah, look at these pictures. This might be from 2013 also. So the magazines were fucking legendary. And it's sad to see them go this way, man. It really is. I'm not going to lie. They're an absolute legendary publication. But let's continue 